girls, today we're going to be learning about collecting data. In our collection of data, it means to find out about something. So we are going to find out how many boys and girls are in the family. This is a fun way for you to show me how many boys and how many girls are in your family. So our content objective is, I will collect data. In our language objective is, I will draw a table in a chart showing how many boys and girls are in my family. So here's a picture of my family that I took a long time ago before I had kids. This is a picture of my own family with my brothers and my sisters and my mommy and my daddy. So before I start, how many boys and how many girls do you think there are in my family by looking at this photo? All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five brothers. And my dad's a boy, so that's six. Six boys are in my family. Let's count the girls. Me, my mom, my sis, my baby sister, and my other sister. So that's one, two, three, four. Four girls are in my family. So now I'm going to make a table chart and a graph chart. The table chart is showing how many boys and girls are in my family. So in the first column, I wrote boys, and the number under that is six, because there are six boys in my family. And the next column is pink. So the boys is blue, the girls is pink, so it looks different. And then under that column, I wrote the number four in this row. And so if you look on the bottom, this is a table, I uh, mean, it's not table, it's a graph chart showing how many boys in blue and how many girls in pink. So if you look here, you see the numbers showing what it goes up to. So here you can see that boys go all the way up to six because there are six boys in my family and the pink side, you can see girls go all the way up to four because there are four girls in my family. So looking at the data, I can figure out, do I have more boys in my family or more girls in my family? What do you think? If you said boys, you're correct. Because if you look here, boys is taller or higher and girls is shorter. All right, so boys and girls, your assignment for today is I want you to create a table and a graph chart showing how many boys and girls are in your family, just like I did. You can draw a line going horizontally and a line going vertically. You can write boys on top of the column and you can write how many under each for boys and girls. And then you can make a chart, a graph chart by drawing and filling in the lines or drawing um, pictures showing how many up to the number of boys and girls you have in your family. All right, boys and girls, when you're done, you can take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. Goodbye.